morning guys i'm making some breakfast right now and i'm getting ready to head to the gym i just made my little matcha i'm gonna have some greens too but i've been taking them kind of like a shot since i drink so many beverages in the morning i'm having my eggs bacon and then i'm gonna have vanilla bean trader joe's yogurt with a banana in there i picked some up yesterday i had to i'm gonna do upper body at the gym today i love the back of this bra the bra itself is like i don't love the shape in the front if that makes sense she will do for an upper body day i also added my chlorophyll to my matcha because i'm like well it's another green substance i might as well just like throw it in you know I'm also wearing my new apls i wore these yesterday for leg day they're not meant for leg day but i was like i'm doing it anyway i'm testing them out because they're 320 dollars and i think we all had an aneurysm i also had one when i was purchasing but i was like i'll sacrifice and i will test this out for all of us i really like them and they're very very cute don't get me wrong that's a high price point i did get distracted and i had a miniature mishap here but I still have a little bit of soft yolk. I like a little bit of soft running yolk, okay? I make my yogurt and we'll be good. I love the greens, how they taste. I also added my creatine in here. I feel like I've done my car sit for long enough, honestly. I should just go inside. I need to make sure my AirPods are charged though. Hold up. Okay. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. We're gonna do upper body today. Hello. It's so hot today though. I, th I would have to argue that it's like 60 degrees or something like that. The phone holder for me, but all the necessary goodies have been grabbed. I got salmon, asparagus, delish muffins, rice cake, little baby potatoes, all that good stuff. But there's boba next door, so I think I'm gonna find my way right over there real quick. ghost for the past couple of days just because i've been around the house not doing anything that crazy except for editing I'm going to the gym but i want to show you guys what my gym fit of the day was because it's so cute and i know a lot of people ask for color comparisons with this so this is a men's gymshark power like, zip up which i love i have it in a extra large i think and i just wore this over my fit i already put my shoes away this one is the legacy bandeau so cute love her and it goes really well with the whitney mink leggings from v3 and then i wore the cement brown crop top over this and these aren't the same color obviously they're from range five and three but i think that they're so cute together and they definitely complement each other and then i wore my new balance 90 60s which are like that neutral chunky shoe that i showed you guys recently but I did get a new packet in the mail. And yes, there's a robe right there, but I have another door into my room that holds another robe. It is so soft. It literally gives me Barefoot Dreams vibes, but it's from Pottery Barn. And usually I think that this is $99 and I got it for 48. It was on sale. I don't know. I decided to pick it up. I love this thing. I got ready in it this morning and it's so cozy and so soft. I did order a second robe, but I think that it's just still on its way here. I actually have dinner with the Gymshark family tonight. They're in Houston. So the room is like, done i like that we don't have anything in here that's my favorite thing where i have like my ikea stand our little nightstands here they're the ones that i unboxed from pottery barn the cayman nightstands they're on my ltk and then i put the little bedroom sconces up they're from amazon and i just didn't want anything going on over here i want my room to be nothing except a sanctuary for me to sleep and that's what it is and i love it so much i do need to get curtains for our windows in here and then i also need to get like a rug i feel like i think i need like a wool rug because we do have shag carpet and and the textures will probably get thrown off. Three seconds ago, I opened my door to these fresh Sends flowers and they're beautiful. They're actually from Gymshark and it was so sweet of them to send that. Here's already been a little bit hectic and crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. Do not cut open. Okay, I think that this is my other robe, which is so funny because all the days that I've like not even chosen to pick up my vlog camera, what are the odds that, yeah, my next Pottery Barn <laughs> robe actually comes? It says do not cut open with a sharp instrument. That's exactly what I did. So cute because it's like a little bit waffly vibe. Wait, this matches my outfit today. Wait a second. Winnie has to do V6 and come out with this exact robe. Sorry. I'm gonna hop in the shower. This was my quick little catch up. Love you, hope you're doing well. I love this robe. Hey guys, so I've updated my office. I don't know the last time that I showed you guys my office. It definitely was different than it is now. 
But I remember leaving you guys a little bit, hanging a little bit. Because I mentioned that I was going to put my activewear in this closet up here. And this is what she looks like so far on this side. And I also went to Target today and grabbed a new rack to put in my office. So up here I just have all of my Vital Seamless tops and then my rest day sets. And then down here I have like my training crew necks and whatnot and some other Gymshark tops. Cleared out all this space. It was where all my Whitney stuff was, but I'm gonna get some hanging. I put a lot of my bottoms in there. My other bottoms are staying in the large dresser that I have outside of this room. But let me give you a little overview. I literally, I'm in a grout fit, okay? So this was my Saturday, not doing anything today. I don't care how I look. Nobody talked to me. It is what it is outfit. All right, so when you see me, when you see this outfit, please don't say anything. All right, you come into my office. I bought this baby today and I just moved on my Whitney stuff and my new and most commonly worn shoes. I have my new APLs, Air Zoom Fires, RYZs, New Balances, and then my Adidas Asters. Those down here and then my other shoes are um, downstairs in our room. And then I just put my Whitney stuff here because this is actually where my desk used to be, but it just felt really empty because I had that little table on that wall back there. And I took that down stairs because I wanted a console table down there. So I got this today and then I had JJ help me bring this big old baby upstairs and that was a task in itself because this urban mirror is literally massive. So I just stuck that on this wall and then I just have a little lamp there. I might do something else with that area. And I laid down my Gymshark yoga mat that I've had for the longest and I kept my wall art there. Oh yes, of course. I moved my desk over here in front of the window and then that's the closet. Do you like my outfit? Please tell me that you do. It's very comfy, cozy, cute and functional. That's all I want. I just want a functional space. I'm literally in the middle of editing. As you can see, you guys are probably watching this or you just watched this video. Now I'm to the end of it. So I'm about to upload what I have on my camera and add to this. There's the tea and the update. Bronx is outside. I just let him out to go potty and I'm gonna go downstairs and make some food, probably salmon, asparagus and rice because I had that recently and I baked it and it was so delicious and I put my salmon in the air fryer and JJ really liked that it was very simple a Jazzy literally posted like a recipe and I said mm, that looks good I'm gonna do that I kind of want to get a shelf to put in here now I'm debating if I need to put it over there because I know we already talked about when I get my plaque what's going to happen with it I don't know maybe I should put it like right there and just have my plaque sitting there I don't know We'll figure it out. We'll see what the dealio is. Anyway, I haven't talked to you guys in a couple of days, so it feels funky to just grab my camera. I like that I have all of this footage built up because then I can edit it all at once and it's not like I can jump to different days, which is fun. So let me know if you like that. Let me know if you just like the periodic updates. What do you what do you like? I still film right here, which is nice because if you saw my Whitney try on, this is where I filmed. And I wanted to empty this space out a little bit. I'm literally gonna make the same meal that I was just talking about. Please know that I'm getting this from a Jazzy. It's just so simple to make, that's why I'm doing it. So I'm gonna have rice, asparagus, and salmon. If y'all wanna cook with me, we can. Okay, I have a confession. Let me be so effing for real right now. We all know I have a sugar, sugar addiction. And you know how you buy cookies at the store? Well, I buy the cookie dough, yeah. It seems like I'm gonna come home and make the cookies. No, I literally just eat the cookie dough. I've eaten half of this bag. It makes me very happy. Don't come at me saying it's gonna kill me. I've been doing this since I was zero. Next question. My wild cooking dinner snack. Let's prep these babies. Oh my gosh, there was one time when I was cooking. You know how you cut the butt off of the asparagus? Y'all, why did I cut it to like right here? What a mess, what a mess. It was just ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Hello? Delicious. I'm gonna preheat the air fryer. And when that's ready, I'm gonna throw this in for 15, 12 to 15 minutes. Top rack. Boom. It's only at 196 degrees. That's insane. All right, are you preheated? This is where I store all of my random cups. Don't say anything about it, okay? I'm gonna do the dishes now. I already loaded half the dishwasher this morning once I put them away. Oh, I already ran it. I didn't know that. It's empty. I'm so on top of it today. I even have my lighter charging. It's actually fully charged now. Love her. Looks delicious. Some asparagus. guy. Bronx is smacking his life away right now. Lovely, we're making a plate, we're making a plate here. Delicioso, tell me that doesn't look fantastic. This is my dinner, okay, she's cute, we saw her. And I'm gonna have an Olipop with my dinner. I like the classic root beer the best, honestly, because I love root beer. If I do drink soda, which I don't often, I honestly prefer Olipops. Cheers, 
Happy dinner to everybody. Good morning, you guys. I am getting ready to go to the gym. I already ate today. Feeling on top of it. I woke up early and then I just sat and chilled for the longest time. I have my eggs, my normal breakfast. And today I think I'm gonna do upper body. So I'm wearing legacy shorts. I think that these are the newer ones that just came out. I have just a v-neck training bra on. These are like the best from Gymshark. I need them to come out with more colors immediately because it's been a hot minute since they have. And I also am wearing my APL today. I'm getting use out of these babies, okay? For what they're costing. They better be used every single day or as many times as I can, but it's sunny out today. It's Monday. I feel great I had a nice little nighttime routine easing into the morning. So I'm focusing on that lately Let's go do some upper body. I'm at the gym now I'll show you guys what I'm doing for my workout if I have enough battery on my camera That's my flaw all the time, but I just took my pre-workout my own the sherbet swirl Libby Christensen We love her. We have upper body. I think I'm gonna mix just all of my upper body That's what I've been doing lately because I'm waiting to fall into like a new split that I can share with you guys especially still figuring out what equipment I have here at this gym we'll do a little mini workout how about that all my stuff out and the music is off today which I kind of love because I can actually talk to you guys in here without being copywritten let me tell you what is so cool so you guys know I literally just went to Houston like three seconds ago is this okay? I love my gym. I love the people here. So fun, so cool. The other day they had come up to me and they were like, Libby, they're putting on this little seminar workshop thing. They have like five speakers or something coming and they asked me if I wanted to speak at it. And it's really like a little event to really like encourage women, uh, women who lift to get into fitness and all that stuff. And they wanted me to talk about like my own fitness journey and being on social media and all that stuff. And I was like, so honored. So that'll be like in May. I felt so honored when they asked me to do that. Oh my gosh. I do my up today. So we'll see how that goes. My pre-workout is already hitting because I haven't taken pre-workout in a long time. Like a long, long time. My be real just went off. I'm at Trader Joe's right now because I'm out of my vanilla bean Greek yogurt. I have to pick that up. I've been car sitting for a hot minute now and I'm gonna go home and probably edit. If you ever wonder what the behind the scenes of content creation looks like, it's me sitting at my desk for hours and I love it. I've gotta be able to like leave the house and this is me leaving the house. Okay, I just finished in Trader's and you guys, I met one of you guys. Her name is Sam and she comes up and she's like, Libby Christensen? I said, hello. She was the sweetest thing ever, oh my gosh. I loved being able to meet her and I feel like I've met so many more of you guys since moving Which is so funny because I feel like I leave the house the same amount It's just like I think I'm around more of my age group, you know and people that understand social media and whatnot But Sam says that she watches my vlog. So this is my shout out to her. I love you She was the cutest thing So I've been on this journey of organizing my activewear in the best way I can I guess the way that makes sense to me. I'm using my office closet So listen this sounds insane and I know I just mentioned this. I have my 12 drawers of dressers. They are the Nordly Ikea drawers and I have literally two of them on the ground back there because I just emptied out the sports bras that were sitting in there. And I bought these new hangers that have slots for sports bras and there's like eight on one. So I got like two four packs and then a solo pack. I actually have to order more because I have all of these black ones that need a hanger to sit on. But let me show you how much space is consolidated in this closet now because I'm about to hang up some of my most commonly worn leggings and I got these little attachments. They are like pant attachments that you put onto your hangers and you can clip pants onto them. I got 80 of those and I will do that next, but let me show you what the closet looks like so far. I know I showed you guys everything that's hanging in here, but I have all this empty space over here and below and a bunch over here as well, but these are the hangers. Like there's so much space on them so you can see which colors you have, which is really nice. So I kind of just somewhat did like a color order moment. So I have to add the black ones to a new one once I get that in. So that's taking up like no space in here, which I love. And then I also have storage above this. But then I have my vital tops and my rest day sets, which I've shown you guys. And then adjust some other Gymshark tops that I haven't really decided how I want to organize. But this little guy was a game changer because it holds so many. I'm pretty sure that's like 70 plus sports bras, which is terrifying. Good morning. 
I know I literally barely have been checking in. Days are just not looking that incredible, to be honest, but I wanted to give you guys an OOTD because I'm about to go hit legs at the gym and then I'm gonna go to La La Land with a Jazzy a little bit later. To update you, let me show you the closet. I did do some work in here yesterday. This is what we're looking like. I showed you guys the sports bras and then I went ahead and hung up like basically a bunch of my Whitney leggings and then I have some of my legacy shorts in here too. And then over here is the other Whitney leggings. I ran out of clips, so I'm gonna have to order more of those as well as the other one for the black sports bras over here. But here's my vital and everything. It's looking good. Um, jump scare. That little girl over there, she's a jump scare. Today's fit, I'm wearing, this has like been my color of the week. This gray taupey color. So this is the Vital Seamless long sleeve. I just kind of tucked it up a little bit. And then these are the Adapt Camo shorts. These are the shorter ones, which honestly like cycling shorts lengthwise better. These are really comfy. So I said, you know what, it's okay. And then I just have on my RYZs. But I love this fit. I think that it's so cute. I literally slept in a bonnet and have the same braids as yesterday. They were a little bit crooked. So I like had to redo the end of them. We're gonna do some work at a coffee shop later. So I'm feeling good about that. I'm gonna take you guys with me all day today, I think, because yesterday was good because I did actually vlog during my workout. So that was an accomplishment for me. We have a chill little day. It's literally raining outside. I need to take the trash can to the curb. Tomorrow, JJ is leaving to go back to Florida for a few days. And then on Friday, I am flying back to Kansas. We just have some family things with both of our families that we have to handle, which is just like, the timing is not great because my birthday Birthday's on Saturday. I don't really do anything for my birthday anyway, so it's okay. We just gotta handle some business. Let's get ready to go to the gym bed. This is the worst that, you know, Houston's Where's my pre-workout, actually? This is the worst that Houston's winter gets. In January, I'll be okay. Wow, my edges, they are laid from the bonnet, you guys. I didn't even touch them today. I mean, they could definitely use a little bit of work, but at least they're flattened. I've worn a bonnet like six times now. Definitely makes a difference. I'm not even taking that much pre-workout, because like I said yesterday, I haven't even been drinking or using... Where's the scoop? It's like getting in my nose. Hello? Guys, I don't like this. Y'all, how is the scoop all the way at the bottom? Y'all, the other day, I was actually recording, and this girl accidentally broke the garage door to the gym. Like, it's somehow off the track, and they had to put a mat on the inside of the gym because it's open to outside. I literally was in my mic top, and I was like, you guys, what was that? And I, like, didn't look. And then afterwards, I was like, oh, she actually broke it. And I was like, oh, that's something I would do. They were like, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to have to do to fix it, but it's fine. Ooh. First soury thing or citrusy thing I suppose of the morning It's gonna shake you to your core just a little bit before this hits I'm gonna go inside and everything. I just finished my workout you guys It literally feels like it's like 6 p.m. And it's only 10 57 in the morning like the lights in the gym I can see cuz the garage doors they're brighter than it is outside. It's so weird But I just did a demo lot de Hello a demolition Demolishing like I just demolished my legs. I did like deadlifts walking lunges front squats all kinds of stuff and it took your girl out, okay? It truly did. But that's what I've been waiting for. I loved it. The sun is actually out, you guys. It's been raining like crazy all day here. And like there was literally a downpour, but Ajazi and I, I finally like made my way to La La Land and we worked there for just a little bit. La La Land was so yummy, delicioso. I loved it. And we went back to her house, just chilled for a little bit. I answered some emails and did some more work because La La Land was closing early. So we were like the last people in there and they were just like cleaning up. So we were like, I think we should leave. Now we are getting some ramen. We're switching it up from pho. Then I'm gonna head home but the sun is literally coming out and it's five o'clock right now so i'm sure the sun will go down soon there was a tornado that hit houston so that was a little bit spooky yuki and we lost power earlier at my house you guys like there was no power when i left the gym i got home and nothing was on i couldn't even open my garage it was a little interesting a little bit crazy and chaotic to be honest we're all good now things are back to where they should be libby is back 
calm. She's overdue for a nice little, you know, self-care moment. So first thing I would like to show you guys is my robe rack. So we all know that I have quite the rack of robes. It's true. I have seven of them right now, I think. I have six on here. Oh, and I have one upstairs too. I love my robes. I feel that I should have one in every single room. And I used to have them on all of my doors because I could just grab them so easily. But somebody commented and was like, Libby, why are they on the doors? I said, it's easy access. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go get a little hanger for them. I have the same one for our towels on this door over here. So I got that thing. And now they're just all on display. I know you're probably confused as to how I don't have a Skims robe. Listen, I don't have a Skims robe because Skims offers full one pieces and onesies that are in their, their robe material. So I go ahead and opt for those, but I am ready to get myself a Skims robe eventually. I'm gonna do a whole hair treatment tonight. I need to Olaplex my hair. It's so organized in here and I love it. I'm gonna do purple shampoo and then I'll probably end up leaving a hair mask in my hair, which I show you guys all the time. Olaplex number seven bonding oil. This is the tea tree special shampoo. And if you need to detox your hair and get all of the nasties and gunk and buildup out of your hair, it's really good to do this seasonally with the weather changing. And I just haven't done this in a hot minute. You guys can tell my roots are so grown out, but I refuse to cheat on my curl girl. Thinking I might be getting it done either when I go back home to Kansas this weekend or potentially just at a later date, we'll see. Showered, clean, in the towel row. Loving life, Bronx is in the closet, like laying there for some reason. I got out of the shower with nothing in my hair. I rinsed everything out, did my Olaplex, did my purple shampoo, and then my tea tree. Mm. And my hair just feels so minty and fresh and like cleansed. I love it so much. Just a little wee bit of this number five bond maintenance conditioner. Cause I just need to be able to comb through my hair. Literally not that much. I'm telling you, this is the best brush ever. We're brushed out. We're feeling good. Now I'm going to use the number nine brushing hair serum. Lovely. Next up will be skincare and then body skincare. And then I'll be ready for bed. All right, we've hit glazed donut status. Yeah, I've decided I'm just gonna use the Vanilla Dream Menti instead of this one because I can't find my Frenchy body oil and I'm having a whole breakdown about it. Pre-lotion, fresh out of the shower. Watch the glow. You see the glow. Can you tell? I feel like I'm shivering. I feel hydrated. Tell me you can see a difference. Now, I'll be having some snackies. Good morning. Let me fill you in on what today is. So it's currently like 9 a.m. or something like that. And at like three, JJ and Shaq, they headed out to Florida. I leave on Friday in a couple of days to fly out to Kansas and I'll be there for just a couple of days. And then I'll be back here. But today I am gonna head to the gym. I have an upper body day that I'm going to do. I might edit prior actually, and then head to the gym later on today. Cause it's like a dead day. Yesterday was such a weird day. Just because the weather was so funky. I did not know what was going on. Cause this random tornado had touched down. The rain was insane. There was no power in the morning. I don't know. It was very odd. So I'm trying to recoup today and get back into my routine. One thing that I, I don't love when JJ leaves of course. And it's very rare that we're just both not home, but I get to make the bed and I don't move when I sleep. <laughs> so it's nice because I literally get into a maid bed and then I get out of essentially a maid bed. I just think that's so funny because JJ is like the Tasmanian devil when he sleeps and the blankets are everywhere. Nice, freshly made, happy cozy bed. What else is going on is that Lee and Caitlin it is their moving day. So they drove from Kansas City down here to Houston yesterday and their moving day is today. So they're getting ready. They're upstairs sleeping right now, but they have their two dogs and then Legacy are upstairs in the guest bedroom. So I've just been kind of like cleaning up the house and everything like that. But I'm so excited because you guys have seen Lee so many times, but Caitlin, his girlfriend is also here now. And I've been so excited that she was going to be coming. It's so funny because we're just basically like everybody in Kansas City is essentially coming here, which is just so fun. But my allergies are so bad. Oh my gosh. I don't want to take allergy medicine, but I'll probably find like a non-drowsy one and take that because I can't do the runny nose. <laughs>
English muffin with an egg and then some like turkey on there, smoked turkey. And it's very simple. And then I'm gonna have a banana with my Greek yogurt. We're picking my gym fit and heading to the gym. We have a little bit of a madhouse right now. I told you that everybody's visiting right now. There's Lee and then Harlem, which is Bronx's son and Nor. There you go. Fit of the day. I'm making Annie's white cheddar macaroni. This is the Vital Seamless Shorts and a Training Bando APLs. Gonna have my Annie's, let's go get it. This is my YouTuber hand. Oh my Wait, God, I am forgetting. I'm not good at yeah. that. You like Train's Legacy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that in my mirror. I was like, oh. <laughs> I closed the door behind me. I was like, don't mind that. Bronx just ran up the stairs. Nor just took me out. <laughs> like, I'm trying to save your brother right now. This is my pre-workout of the day because it's literally 4 o'clock and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm not taking actual pre-workout because I would be up all night. Oh. I swear, this is so funny. He's just like coming on down. <laughs> Legacy. There he is. Anyway, this is Livy's pre-workout. Yay, Juicy Peach. And Legacy with one sock. Perfect. Yeah. I'm at the gym. I'm currently in Shaq's car because JJ and Shaq took my car to go to Florida just for more room and whatnot. And it's nice because I won't mix myself up with the other Jeep Grand Cherokee that looks exactly like mine. The same trim model as mine too. I have tried to open their car door so many times it's so embarrassing. It's literally 4.30 right now. I'm gonna do a quick little upper body session just because I wanna get some movement in and I just have been in the house all day and then I'm deep cleaning my house. Sometimes I forget what it's like being solo, obviously. I haven't necessarily lived solo. Bronx's best friends just left. We got their keys and everything so they're heading out. It's so weird that my house is like completely silent and I'm the only one here obviously with this little horse but I'm so excited for Lee and Caitlin. It's gonna be so fun having them local, having them here, having just like people around here but I'm gonna get started on dinner. I literally went upstairs and started editing but I might as well start dinner. I like to get in bed early. I will be hitting the hay probably around like 10, 11 ish if that. I feel like I had a good day. It was a really slow day. Not too much happened honestly. I'm going to literally air fry my salmon again which i've shown you guys already and then i get ready for a new day tomorrow tomorrow's thursday i will end up leaving on friday right, you guys dinner has been had had my shower did my hair my bedtime hair at least and i just went upstairs and edited a little bit i ate a banana with the trader joe's nut butter on it and it was so good literally such a treat and if you sprinkle like chocolate chips on top i think that's even better rongsi is already in his cot over here he's the cutest thing and i think he's ready to wind down for the night i also also had the Alani sleep supplement. I just added that into some water. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that it's sporadic and pretty long, but I had a few people comment saying that they wanted longer vlogs, but I felt like I had so much footage. I wanted to just get some of it out to show you guys. So if you enjoy the longer vlogs, hopefully you liked this one. It's been a little bit crazy these last couple of weeks, but I'm just keeping you guys in the loop, doing my best to at least try to touch base with you guys. But yeah, I'm feeling like we're finally settling in. It's taken a couple of months to feel like this is actually home. So I'm loving it so far. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I just saw that I hit 98,000 subscribers. I'm celebrating every single moment right now because I am so excited. Oh, we're almost to 100K on YouTube. It's like the slowest growing platform, but it's definitely the platform where I build the best relationship. And not to say that I don't have great relationships through the other platforms, but just knowing that you guys come take extra time out of your day to spend a little time with me means the world. So also be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss a video with me. And you guys can be one of the first 100,000 people that have ever subscribed to me. Make sure that you guys also keep up with me every single day on Instagram and TikTok at Libby Christensen. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.